In the last step, we define the beans for loading using XML. We defined XML person DAO, we defined XML JDBC connection. We also defined a XML. So we created an application context.xml that we can use to load the beans up. We are manually creating the beans and also auto wiring the JDBC, XML JDBC connection into the XML person DO. That's cool. Now we would want to launch up this application context. So we would need to create an application file for that. So let's get started with that in this step. I'll make a copy of the spring in five steps basic application, control C, control V. And I would want to now call this instead of the basic application, this is XML context. So we are going to create an XML context here. Now I'll open the XML context thing up. Oh, here, the thing which we would want to do is we would want to load a application context using XML. How do we do that? For loading the Java context up, we use annotation config application context, right? So similar to that, there is something called class path XML application context. So we create a class path XML application context. To the class path X XML application context, I can pass in the location of the application context.xml. Since we put it in source main resources, it's directly available in the class path. All that we would need to do is to give the name of it, application context dot XML. And from here, I don't really need to worry about all this stuff. So we just need one bean. So let's remove all the other stuff. I would want to load person DAO. So let's do that. So person DAO and even here it's the person DAO. Let's rename it. It's person DAO. And let's organize the imports, control shift O. And now it's ready. And also I would want to, oops, we are using a system.out.println. You can change it to logger as an exercise. For now, I would just say system.out.println person DAO dot get XML JDBC connection to make sure that it's auto wired properly. What we are doing now is instead of using a Java application context, what we are using is XML application context. So we are defining a XML application context using application context.xml and we are trying to load the bean XML person DAO from it. If you look at the XML person DAO, we are not using any annotations in here. So we, this is how we were doing development when I started with Spring. So you had to actually define the beans, then you had to go to the application context.xml, define the dependencies. So these kind of XMLs run into thousands and thousands of lines and they are very, very difficult to maintain because whenever I add a dependency in here, I would need to go into the XML and add the dependency in there as well. And whenever I create a new bean, I would need to define it in here as well. So it was very tough. Uh, the idea behind this XML context lectures is to just give you an idea of how things were before the Java context configuration came into picture. With annotations, the configuration is much, much more easier. But before annotations, it was really, really difficult to wire beans using Spring. Now, let's get to the task at hand and let's run this as a Java application. So right click, run as Java application. Cool. So XML person DAO is loaded up. XML JDBC connection is also loaded up. That's pretty cool, right? So now we are actually able to use an XML context to load these beans up. What I'll recommend you to do is to play around with this thing as well. Try and create a couple of new beans. Try and create a few dependencies. Try and auto wire them in and play around with the XML context to understand this stuff much more. Until the next step, bye-bye.